All right, this here is part two. This is Restoration Begins on this 1983 John Deere Edger with a three horse Briggs. And we're going to start by taking the motor off. So let's get into it. All right, so to get the motor off, obviously you gotta get the pulley off. This is kind of wore out or just loose. So it looks like we got a screw here. Probably another screw down here, I would imagine. Yep, another screw down here. I think I can get the bucket screwdriver. Now this ain't gonna be like professional grade restoration. This is just me restoring this to the best of my abilities. I'm not a professional. I'm a professional at fixing these things, but I'm not a professional at restoring anything. All right, let me adjust the camera. There's another screw right here, I do believe. This is a belt guard. Yeah, that's a screw. I got it loose. All right. I will fish that screw out later. There's our belt guide, and that pulley looks like it's going to be an absolute joy to get off. We'll deal with getting the pulley off later. I'm going to have to get a new belt for it. It's a half by 30 is what it looks like. Which, another thing, if you've seen in the previous video, this thing had no oil in it. What my assumption is seeing all this oil around here is someone left a dipstick loose. Four millimeter. I don't think this is going to be metric. I'm very wrong. It is metric. Hmm. Interesting. Right. Her little set screw. Don't want to lose it. Now is this going to slide right off? I doubt it. I don't like the smell of PB Blaster. So we're going to put WD-40 all on this. And I'm going to pry it off with a pry bar. Pry bar don't work. I got a puller. Pull this uh, a little bit too big. But I don't know where my other puller is. And this ain't going to work. Okay, so we'll just take the motor off next. Mm. I'll leave the bolts in there because I'll end up picking the motor up. I'm not right-handed, by the way. All right, so I got an impact. Get this done a little quicker. A little bit easier, too. A lot easier. One more to get off. There we go, and the motor came loose. Get the throttle off. I need this screwdriver right here. Just loosen this. Pull it out. Tighten that back up. And we should be able to lift the motor off. Okay, well I got the motor off. Let's take this frame outside and uh, give it a good cleaning. I got some degreaser here and we're going to spray it down and let it soak. It was really bright out here. This is eco-friendly stuff. It's simple green, I believe. Let me go locate a bucket or something to get some water in. Alright, I got a wire brush. Not ideal, but like I said, it's going to get painted anyways.
It is looking a lot better. Once I tear it apart, I will further clean everything. All right, we'll let this dry and then we'll tear it apart. Let's go focus on the motor. So this is my workbench and it is in the dark corner where there's no light. So instead of putting the camera here and then having all sorts of kind of weird shadows and lighting problems, we're just gonna tear this thing down on the floor until I get that light hung up. All right, so I wanna get this recoil off and fix it. I don't wanna take the carburetor or the gas tank off until I get a carb kit for it. And uh, cause these motors are kind of tricky on the linkages. And I know you're probably going to say in the comments, it's an engine, not a motor. It's the same thing. Get this off. So we are missing a bolt here. All right. And we have the bolt there. Looks like some of these were 3 8 some of them were 7 16 I'm going to go on a limb and say these are 3 8 because it's newer than 1980. Um, I'll correct it in the video. I don't know exactly what year they went to electronic ignition. It was either 80 or 82, but I'll put that in this video. Choke doesn't stick. That's a good thing. So let's get this off. I know for a fact that top one's a 3 8. This is 3 8. And it is. Yeah, this is electronic ignition, and uh, it's got this old governor vane on it. Linkage ain't that hard on this one. The ones that are difficult are the five horse motors. It's got a mechanical governor. This one has an air vane governor, which I find interesting. So this is definitely electronic ignition. Has no points condenser, none of that. And uh, starter clutch needs some attention. But our main focus is going to be on this recoil. Recoil is fine. I think it just needs a pull rope and tightening up because one of them tabs is bent. You see how loose it is. But here's the model type and code. So it is from 1983. It's an 80202, little three horse. And I'm going to put this up on my workbench. And we'll further take it apart. I know the coil's good. I'm going to have to get that starter clutch off. I don't have the fancy tool that hooks up to your impact to get said starter clutch off. So I have to do that the old fashioned way, the way I used to do it. Alright, so we're on my workbench now. i got the recoil that needs a rope. Got this, two little screws. I'm going to have to get an air filter for it too. Get the motor set up here. All right, and I will see you guys in the next video because I've got to order some parts. We'll tear it down, rebuild the carburetor, fix the recoil, and then I'll clean everything up, and we'll get to painting. And maybe by then I'll have a light over here in this dark corner. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. And there'll be more to come. See you in the next one.